This is how most New York City buildings provide heat and hot water, a traditional boiler powered by natural gas. But the New York City Housing Authority is trying to take steps to gradually change this reality and help the city meet its climate targets. We want to improve the occupant health, safety and comfort um, by transitioning to cleaner sources of heat uh, and also providing cooling, which is something that NYCHA hasn't done in the past. With the goal of providing heat in the colder months and cool air in the summertime to thousands of its residents, NYCHA is requesting proposals from manufacturers to come up with a machine similar to this one at the Fort Independence houses in the Bronx, so it could be easily installed in each room of every apartment. So we go in into the apartments, we put the piece in, we plug it into the wall just like an AC, and we walk away. And in some in some ways, this completely changes the, the narrative in how we provide heating and cooling in the future. NYCHA is looking to make an initial purchase of 24,000 units. The price of each unit shouldn't exceed $3,000. This heat pumped technology has been improving in the last few years and doesn't require the installation of additional machinery on roof decks anymore. We need to bring affordable solutions to multifamily building stock so that when designers are designing these heating systems, they're not opting out for the most cost-effective option, which is gas-fired boilers at, at the moment. These heat pumps will help reduce some greenhouse gas emissions. If the right machine is designed and successfully deployed, NYCHA is planning to buy an additional 150,000 units within 10 years. But we are still a long way from cutting our dependence on fossil fuels. The state is trying to transition to cleaner sources of energy, but at the moment, most of its electricity comes from natural gas and the boilers will still be needed to provide hot water for the foreseeable future. In the Bronx, Juan Manuel Benitez, New York One.